Today in this new video in the Spring Authorization Server series, we are going to configure and test the client registration endpoint. You can access the client registration endpoint with a GET request and a POST request. You can read the client registration or create a new client. In this video we will continue with the code from the previous video. The link to this video can be found in the upper right corner. The client registration endpoint it is not enabled by default. You can enable the endpoint with the following simple configuration. This is all it takes to open up the endpoints. In the authorization server settings, being we can change the default endpoint. A second setting are the scopes of the client. To read the client registration you need the scope client read. To create a new client registration you need the scope client create. Because the client registration are stored in a database you need to view the database data. As you can see there is now one client registration in our database with scopes client read and client create. We can now start our project and start viewing the result in Postman. We are now in Postman to review client registration. The first step is to request an access token with the client registration we want to view. We can briefly view the data we need here. Under the Authorization tab we choose Type OAuth 2.0 and then Grant Type Callback URL Auth URL Access Token URL Client ID Client Secret Code Challenge Method Very important to scope client read Clear Cookies and click Get New Access Token in the new window we need to log in with the username and password. Now we have the access token which we can use to request the client registration info. We can now use this access token to make a GET request to the client info endpoint with the client ID parameter and the authorization bearer token with the access token. In the response we see all the client info. The second step in Postman is to create a new client registration. Now we need to request an access token with the scope client create. With this access token, we can now make a POST request to the client info endpoint. With the client ID parameter. And the authorization bearer token with the access token. In the body we need to provide a JSON object with the client registration data of the new client. When we send the request, we can look at the result in our database. We now see a second client with the data of the JSON object. That's it for this video. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.